Hi everybody, Broken Eats here and welcome to today's video. So today's video is entitled The End of Windows. What you're looking at here is Ubuntu's latest release of their desktop operating system, Ubuntu 24.04, long-term support, which is officially supported until 2029. Just think about that for a second, 2029. Mm. So why do I personally think that this operating system will be partly responsible for the demise as Windows being the dominant operating system on the planet Earth in the future? Is it because Ubuntu desktop operating system is that good? <clears throat> Uh, that everybody is just not going to be able to help themselves. No, that's not the reason. <laughs> the reason I think so many people will download and install Ubuntu onto their computer is that when the Windows Update 24H2 drops and people's PCs ignore them and upgrade to that version anyway, they then go to reboot and get a blank black screen to be told that their hardware isn't good enough to power a Windows 11 24H2 and beyond. Um, and I think no matter what Windows tries to do in the future, and it can release light editions all it wants, I think the damage is already done, to be honest with you. And I also think that Ubuntu is a name that's known by the ordinary person. So they might not know what it is, but they've heard of Ubuntu, whereas they've never heard of Arch or Gen 2 or anything else. But Ubuntu, hmm, chances are they'll have heard it, you know, in a discussion or somebody talking about it or um, a friend will have mentioned it to them. So that's why I think Ubuntu 24 dot zero two will be the end of microsoft windows as we know it so this release i'm not going to go through all the features needless to say it's very very easy to make it look like the apple mac operating system um, out of the box uh, this dock here is on the left hand side it has its own unique look and feel very very nice it comes with some really nice backgrounds and of course by default it is using the Wayland graphics driver. Now this is not installed, this is running from a USB thumb drive on my e-waste PC um, and I can tell you that it's an absolute delight to use. However, <clears throat> however, I do have a couple of gripes with the way Ubuntu are going in that if you're a brand new user and you don't know any different well you're presented with the Ubuntu software center to go and grab all of your software and of course where possible by default um, it is a wash with snaps now uh, depending on your point of view, um, any self-contained app is either a wonderful thing or a bad thing. The reason I have a gripe is that they don't include any other software manager. So it's a case of either go to the terminal or install Synaptic Package Manager yourself. If you're a seasoned Linux user installing Synaptic Package Manager is a piece of cake and will guarantee that you get the latest software packages from the repos, not overblown, overburdened snaps. However, if you're a brand new user, you would never have heard of Synaptic. So therefore, your only method or means of installing software right out the box is the inbuilt software manager. Now, again, if we search for something, let's have a look for OBS Studio. And it's marked as unofficial. And it tells you it's from Snapcrafters. Now, 
<clears throat> you do have the option to click on the down arrow, but again, new users, why would they do this? They just see OBS Studio, bang, install, and it's 603 megabyte. Yes, it's self-contained, but it's not necessarily going to operate and give you the desired effect and results because it's a snap. You may run into hardware issues, for example. Now, I can tell you, I did a search for simple screen recorder. There we go. And I actually installed this one for a start. And again, it's unofficial. Latest stable dot zero one. I thought, well, okay, let's give it a go. I installed it. Hey ho, the audio was not operational. It would not pick up my microphone and headset. So I thought, well, okay. So I installed Synaptic Package Manager uh, and downloaded and installed it from Synaptic. And guess what? It runs beautiful, as you can see here. Um, and it's picked up the audio, it's recording exactly what I want. So, these are a, a few little gripes that I have with Ubuntu from a new user perspective. I've already stated that a new user wouldn't know what Synaptic Package Manager is. But to not include it in the default distribution hides it even more from clueless new users users which i don't feel personally is a good thing the other thing with the distribution is it's got the version of xv utils which is infected i don't know if that's correct or if it's just a mismarking of the actual software package itself is it xv utils i can't remember um but you know i mean the operating system itself is beautiful. It's a delight to use. It really, really is. Uh, and I could heartily recommend it um, to anybody and everybody, especially those people who want to get off of Windows because they are sick of um, Windows um, dictating to them what hardware they can and cannot use it maybe it's not xv i can't remember it's the you the compression utility um that's infected um but nevertheless this comes with the um the version that is infected but i don't know if that's the actual case would i heartily recommend that anybody and everybody rushes out downloads this installs it and use it as their daily driver absolutely 100 percent no don't do it because this is a brand new release i always give any ubuntu long-term support desktop distribution a minimum of three months to sort all the bugs like the xvu tools issue out so we are now at the end of april may june so at the end of july you should be fine to go ahead and download the latest ISO with all the fixes, bug updates and everything else. And you should be good to go. I genuinely think that this release of Ubuntu 24.04, for a whole myriad of reasons, will go some way to ending Windows dominance. I think Linux on the desktop is rising in popularity i think the work from valve with their proton and the work from wine is absolutely outstanding it's not perfect but it's outstanding let's be quite frank and on an e-waste pc like this which is a perfectly good acceptable content creation pc you can run like something like the beautiful ubuntu 24.04 and you can create all your content for YouTube, for Twitch, for whatever the hell it is you're playing with. You also get a nice selection, quite a fresh selection of modern backgrounds as well. That's the default one and very regal and beautiful it is as well. So there you go. That's my take on Ubuntu. 
I would personally wait a minimum of three months before rushing out and installing it. However, the operating system is beautiful. It's slick, it's quick, it's very modern. Yes, it does have, in my opinion, one or two downsides, um, limiting you and, and pushing you towards snaps rather than giving you an open choice. It's easily corrected, but again, new users wouldn't know this. Please let me have your 10 cents worth underneath the video if you have experience with the latest Ubuntu. What do you think? Any gripes? Uh, would you like to blow sunshine right up the crack of its arse? Well, you'd be very welcome on this channel. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.